Much like humans speak different languages, whales are the same way. Sometimes I like to try to imagine what it would be like to be a whale and sending my echolocation clicks to communicate with my family. I grew up in a small fishing community in northern Cape Breton. My first food was lobster. My dad loves to brag about that. And everybody in my community, for the most part, works on the ocean, including my family. <laughs> my first job was working on a whale watching vessel. And this juvenile minke whale comes up and swims beside the boat. And he or she looked up at me, and I looked back at it, and we, our eyes sort of locked, and we had a moment. For that moment, we were, we were synced. I always wondered how things work, especially in the oceans. The plankton, the algae, the way life interacts underneath the ocean. When I heard about the NSCC Ocean Technology Program, I just said, yes, this is it. It's a really invigorating environment to be in. Machine shop is down here, and our ocean technology lab as well. It's a pretty cool place. We have such a great ocean economy here that's growing and growing, and they need people. If I had told my 19-year-old self this is what I'd be doing, I would have been, shut up. No way. That's how. How could she be so lucky? It's, it's hard to describe. It's just so cool. Definitely dream come true.